Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers, where today we are, or at least I am, not if I say we, I am going to show you how I design my ships to make them look a little bit more interesting. In this particular video, we are going to go through the stages of this mining ship, going from a design which, you know, looks like a brick. You maybe, you, okay, let's say a scenario. You've built your mining ship and you wanted to cover it with blocks to make it a bit stronger. However, you made a brick and you don't want a brick. So you've come to this video to find out how you go from a brick to an actual cool looking mining ship. Sound good? Good. If you uh, think you'll enjoy this video, maybe uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you're new. Helps me out immensely. And also, if you want, feel free to join the Discord. Link in the video description down below. Without further ado, let's get straight on to today's video. Okay, so like I said in the uh, little intro there, um, we're going to hopefully turn a ship, so this is a very, very simple mining ship, into a nice looking mining ship. Okay. So this is uh, my miner that I built in the survival series. Apparently it's got rust on it. Huh. Why did I pull out a gun? Okay. Oh. Subscribe or else. No, um, so this is the mining ship I use, and this is uh, one I actually just built just before. So, I'm going to start with how I do... Or, so, of course, I'm showing you a mining ship here. You could use anything. This could be related to a fighter. It could be related to a um, vehicle, like a rover or a whatever. You know, it's it's the equivalent sort of techniques. In this case, I'm going to talk a little bit about the actual infrastructure of the mining ship first. So, oh, hello. I still got some, uh, uh, why am I pulling out blocks? There we go. Oh, there we go. So, first of all, we need to talk a little a bit about the actual main fundamental, fundamentals of a mining ship. So, you can sort of see we have um, our cockpit. Which then goes into some blocks, so it connects to the top of a cockpit, connects to the drills, and into the uh, cargo container. However, you can sort of see this is a bit of a uh, bad design, I would actually say. So if it was me, I would remove both of these. I would delete that block there. Uh, I would put two blocks right here, and I would attach my drills like that. Puts it out a little bit further, but I, this will still cover all the area you need. And the good thing about this is then that gives you some space to add lights, add thrusters, all that kind of good stuff right there. Anyway, so we got we got our drills connected to the seat. We've got some gyros, I like to shove them just back there. And then I've got a large cargo container and two mediums and then my connector. Which, yeah, that seems like, you know, you, you're looking at a decent length. Decent sort of width and uh, not too bad in terms of height. Yeah, I would say that's uh, fairly decent. So then the next sort of stage is thrusters and uh, batteries. It's a lot of just uh, finagling your ships. But trust me, making your ship or building the infrastructure like this before you get on to the actual armor is the most important stage, right? Because this, this will make your life a whole lot easier further down the line.
so that's our that's that's our upgraded you can see how uh you know we've changed it quite a lot so next up drills you're never going to really be able to armor that well mainly because if you look at the hitbox it's not equivalent to what you're actually seeing because it includes a massive uh, drill head so what I like to do, and what I'm going to do, is I'm going to uh, change these col like Colors are very important in a design, right? So having something, having a base color, something like a gray, and then having an accent color is very... It'll do so much for a design. And what I'm going to do is you just sort of have to pick a line and just follow it. Or at least that's what I like to do. I like, I like to see where a design goes, all right? See where it, see where it goes. You can see here, I've got, I've got a nice central line here. I, li I like it. I like it. Um, I think we can extend to there. That way we can add a little bit of ribbing here. It's another thing I like to do on my designs is a little bit of like armor ribbing. Happy with that? No. All right, what about, what about a little bit of armor ribbing like that? Ooh, I like it means I could also do the same here. Also, what if I make it a bit offset? Just like that. Oh, that look, that's looking good already. So again, you don't want to cover absolutely every single block. And if you notice here, I've just uh, covered this thruster, which... Oops. Oh well. So let's do a little bit like this. Oh, I like it. I like it. Hmm. I'm not quite happy with that. What if I stuck with... What if I did this instead? Eh, yeah, looking alright. Okay. Uh, moving on. So we've got our lights at the front. Yep, yep, yep. Underside, let's... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's uh I also like to have a little bit of shape, you know. You know, if you so you can do a lot of sh things. Yeah. Or should I should I do this? Ooh. I like it. Maybe, maybe I'll leave, like, the, uh, center kind of exposed. Okay. I'll see how this design follows up. And I'm completely just doing this off the top of my head, right? Like, not really any sort of plans. And that that's one thing. Don't try overcomplicate your designs. Don't, like, try, you know, spend absolutely ages trying to get the perfect design because... Really, your designs will flow by you just experimenting and doing it. So I'm going to uh, go a little bit here, right? Um, yeah, I like it. All right, yeah, I, I, I like that. So now I'm going to change probably to a... I'll choose a black color. And what I'm gonna do is let's let's add some shadowy dark spots. We we'll do a bit of something like that. Oops. Nope. Oh, there we go. Bit of that. Bit of that. Yeah, I like it. What if we just went right across with the duck? Ooh, yes. Hmm. Maybe a bit like that. Or what if what if the duck went above it? this one like that 
Yeah, adds a little bit more height, a bit more difference. Got a couple blocks there. I'm digging it so far. I'll tell you that, I'm, I'm actually liking this design. Uh, always need to include the bottom. Okay. Uh, this bit here is looking a little bit worse for wear. I think that even just does it quite a lot of uh, the work for me right there. You know, just, just you just have to fill up these. Uh, let's, get, let's get all these blocks to lead. There we go. Let's also allow it to fly properly. Um. Okay. What what else can we do? Now, one thing I did on this one, which I actually really liked, was I added like a little bit of more detail onto it. And I think I might do a similar thing here. But let's let's see what let's see what we can. Let's see what we can muster. I'm not sure how much I'm digging this higher. But I actually really I really, really like this design. Um alright, I'm not not happy with that. Uh, there we go. Alright, I, I I um I'm not sure what it is, but I kind of like it. One thing we could do, uh, it's probably not the best. We could just add some. I guess they have some more sticking out, but I don't, I don't think I want to go right that far. I don't, I've never done anything like this before. We'll see how this, uh, see how it turns out. I, I don't mind, I don't mind experimenting. <laughs> and does this, does this wing have any particular use in the slightest? No. It's just, it's just different looking, isn't it? And uh yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with this. I I would say I would say this is a functioning mining ship. Of course you can do the uh thrust tests. I like to make sure you have a, a good couple of thrusters on each side. And when at least when it's empty it can fully uh fully support itself. Not quite uh upwards, but that that's alright. You never you never mining like that in a environment like this anyway, so. I tend to like to have more brake thrust than I have uh, forward thrust anyway, because that means you know you'll stop faster than you accelerate. Um, Let's just park this one right up next to this one. And as you can see, same miner, same colors. However, a completely different entirely you can see this one's a bit of a thicker design but I, I like them both I'm not gonna lie trust me it's way better than where we started from but I, I can I can still always find places to uh touch up I like that um but you know keep 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 parts of it don't try and clad the whole thing try and have don't have flat surfaces, have shapes, and just play around with it. Literally, really, my best uh, best piece of advice is play around with the armor. See see what interesting things you can create. And yeah, um, I, I like ribbing. Ribbing always looks good. As you can see on on this particular design, I probably did it more. Um, I, I really like this part of a wing. I like how I in integrate this whole thing. Yeah, I actually, I actually prefer this one over this one. Still, I really like this wing design that I made. Boy, I really outdid myself on this one. Um, yeah, 
it I this was a bit rushed of a bit, like this is a bit rushed in terms of I would spend an hour plus um designing literally just like one part of the armor. So uh yeah, it's a little bit more of a rushed build because of course I'm making a uh, sort of more tutorial sort of style. Um but yeah, so we have colours, ribbing, no flat surfaces, exposed um components for more detail. Um, obviously all the internal stuff to make sure it's all functioning. Piping always looks nice. Um, again, more ribbing. You can see I haven't really done the underside here properly. Uh, if I looked at something like my actual one here, you can see I've, I've still got the, uh, ribbing design. Got landing gear on that one, haven't got that on this particular ship. Um, I, I don't particularly like having a... Landing gear on my miners. Because half the time I get knocked off. So unless you've got a good hidden spot to put them. Um, one good thing you can sometimes do is having uh, like little skid plates. So making like these out of heavy armor. Um, so just so if you hit the ground they will take the brunt instead of your connector. Um, but yeah. That's uh, pretty much all I have for you today. Um, if you did find this useful, as always, consider uh, liking the video, maybe subscribing, comment other ideas that you may have, like other video ideas. Uh, join Discord if you want to, uh, you know, chat with me, chat with the other community on my channel, etc, etc. But that is everything for today. The sun is setting and uh, yeah, my name is being Quantum Chief. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!